Hey guys, what's up? It is Skullflag44 here, back with another Ultimate Frisbee video. Um, the picture you're seeing right now is a picture from our bro tanks that we got, our official shirts. This is the front of it. Um, I took a lot of pictures and stuff um, to try to get some good stuff for videos, but I, this was just a simple one. And then I ended up taking it instead of landscape, I took it portrait, which screwed it up, and then I didn't want to have black bars in it, so I just figured I would just do this. We can just kind of see the texture a bit. Um, then if I talk over um 10 minutes there'll be another picture but they're they're pretty sweet um they have, they have this on the front and like the uh left pocket um sort of area or left breast i guess you could call it a left peck maybe um and then on the back they have our big same sort of logo but with our high school um and ultimate frisbee club on the back so it's pretty pretty sweet so we got those um last friday which was the sunday was the seventh saturday was the sixth so the fifth um, they came in and then we had a pasta feed get together um, hang out UFC in playing frisbee and then UFC in actual like wrestling which was a good time fortunately I was not able to get into the action because I hurt my arm pretty good or elbow um, I skinned it up and I took some pictures of that but then I was like do people really want to see that yeah maybe not that would kind of because it's, it's pretty it's pretty nasty um I don't know, the, the pictures, it was kind of, you know, it kind of comes at you. Yeah, so I guess I'll kind of date back to our double header we had, well, not, I guess, last week, um, where I got the injury. So we played two teams. We played the top team in our league, um, who we are now 4-2, and two, and we were able to beat them 13-11. to 11. Um, It was a tough game. They were pretty good. Um, we had a lot more players, a lot more depth. Um, and in the end, we just stuck our best players in and pretty much just destroyed them. Um, and so it, we, when we had our best players in, we it was like five to nothing. So we that it was like a pretty it was a close game, but at the end it was pretty clear um, that we were gonna win it. And then we played another team, um, a JV team. We beat them fifteen to nothing, where we just spanked them. Um, and that was pretty fun because I was you know trying hard for the shutout, diving all over. You know, I wanted to make sure that we you know got that. But in the first game, I dove for one and I ended up catching it. it was a pretty sick it's pretty sick dive it was kind of like cutting back and I could see where I was going to go and before that before um like a couple plays before there was a guy it's pretty fast and he was covering me and I was covering him and he they had a nice pass and I was caught on the outside he kind of like boxed me out and I missed that one so I was like and this one is like the same spot and I'm like oh no I'm getting past him so I blew past him got up dove for or like I guess I got up jump and then I ended up diving I don't really remember I'm not sure what it looked like or what I actually did, but I remember just kind of leaping for it, and I caught it, kind of slid a bit, um, and then threw the touchdown or goal um, pass assist there. So that was pretty sweet, but I skinned my elbow pretty good. It was just like a little bit at the bottom that was kind of bloody, but it took off a whole kind of layer of skin. And then, so it didn't seem that bad. Um, then we had a party birthday kind of get-together thing for me at my house um, afterward, and I jammed my middle finger on my left hand, and so that was worse than my arm because that I couldn't like I thought it might have been broken, but now it's all good now. Um, and um, but then this kind of started to scab over, and now it's becoming a really big problem because this Monday um, the scab, and every time I fall on it, it breaks the scab and it takes longer to heal. But it's getting better. Um, I'm looking at it right now. It's like I can see the original kind of like. Uh, a scrape I guess of some sort and then the scab is kind of just closing in slowly so hopefully I think by our next game it should be pretty pretty solid we don't have a game this week and then the week after we have a double header um so yeah so we won our two games there and then this week this is I'm on spring break right now which is really great because I can just do whatever um no stress nothing to worry about I just we played frisbee today it was a good time um so after the pasta feed that we had Friday, got our shirts and everything, we had a game Saturday at 9 o'clock, so that was early. We had to get up at like 7, which wasn't too bad, but it was kind of like, I don't know, it was early to get, not, not early to necessarily wake up, because I had just woken up at like 6.30 the past couple of days, um, and it was, I only had to get up like 7.15 or whatever, but it was early to get up and be moving, um, and our game was at 9, so we go down there, we were missing like four five out of our top 10 players who so are missing a good bit of, bit of people and some quality people too. But we were, um, this team was two and two. Um, and I, I recognized them once I saw them out there and they didn't look all that great. Um, so we played them and it was super windy back in the place where we lost our first game. 
we had the, our rotations were kind of messed up because people said they were coming and then didn't end up making it because I don't know they were just tired and <laughs> spring break. It was it was kind of it would have been e- really easy for a lot of people to sleep in. And I completely understand a lot of people on you know vacation or whatever. Um, and so we figured that out. Um, we got it all situated. Um, our first point where we put our top players in. Um, they, well, they were our top players for the game, but overall not our top actual players. So kind of some sort of makeshift. Um, there's, I mean, it's still a really solid team, um, a really solid group of guys, better than the other team for sure. But we lost our first point there because of a miscommunication and the wind was blowing back and wind was a huge factor. And so we lost that one, um, that point. And then, so we're like, oh gosh, this is going to be a long game, battle of the wind, just like the game before. But then the, so we kind of battle it out. We get it to like 3-3 three, three or something like that, or 3-2 maybe. Um, and then we just kind of start turning it on. We ended up beating him 11-3. to three. Um, and I, I scored the last point off of a hammer throw, which is pretty nice to kind of sink that one in there. Um, so that was a fun game because once we got going, it was a lot, a lot easier. It was fun for me because I got to, I got to play a lot because we kind of had to set up the rotations where we needed kind of anchors on each team. Um, so we needed to kind of split up the quality players sort of thing. And the way we had some, some of the quality players said they could make it, they could have anchored a team, but then they didn't end up coming or whatever. So we had to kind of switch people around. It was kind of confusing, but it all worked out and we ended up getting the victory. So now we're at the top of our division, which is nice. And um, we have not a double header this Saturday, but on the 20th. So that should be a fun fun game but that's also early that's 10 which is better than nine but still pretty early and then i think we're going to go to the seattle rainmakers game on the 20th which is a the major league ultimate inaugural season opener game um so it's like professional ultimate frisbee um so this is their inaugural season and it should be a fun to watch they're playing vancouver team i think um so that should be uh should be a good time hopefully we can get Another two victories, and then we have one more game after that, I think, for an eight game. And then we go into the playoffs. And the playoffs, I mean, at this point, we've only lost one. We lost that one by one point. And at this, we could have beat the team if we had rotations, knew what we were doing, had some sort of experience. Um, so we'll see how the next couple games goes, and then we'll figure out the playoffs. We're going to try to play harder and get this, I don't know, win, win the playoffs. That's kind of the goal. Um, so, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Just, I don't know figuring this whole all, all this stuff out unfortunately it's not like a summer league which i think we would would have liked to enter because that could be a fun time um but we'll just have to you know just do our regular scrimmage stuff and pick up games in the summer which is always fun anyway um so yeah it's been i don't know it's been a ton of fun we're already looking at next season to move up and do we're in the c division where all the new teams go and the next year we're definitely going to move up to the b division and hopefully when we're seniors be in the a division and the, the goal is to win you know get the championship in each division but that's this year i think it's an attainable goal because we're we're pretty solid and there's no other uh, teams that are i don't know if there's a team that's you know super crazy good or anything um or better than us but it's gonna next year they're gonna get a lot better and then the year after well assuming we're, we're just gonna get better too so we'll see how it all see how it all works out but yeah it's been fun you know figuring out all sorts of different throws i got my hammer throw i got my forehand um i don't know it's been great um, so yeah, so today I, we went and we had a group of like 15 or so, um, playing, playing some Frisbee, I think maybe even 16 at one point. Um, so yeah, that was a ton of fun. Um, just kind of, we played one game that we just ended up throwing it around because people were leaving, doing all sorts of different stuff. And it was still, still a good time practicing, practicing all sorts of stuff. Um, Mr. Condu 12, um, and I were throwing it around. We were practicing catching it in the mid in midair and then throwing it while you're still in the air to try to get some of one of the um throws where it looks like it's going out of bounds so you jump out and then throw it in um which i mean getting in a situation is like super rare where that's actually useful rather than just laying out and try to keeping your toes in um and then and actually completing it is even you know more rare so that's just one of the fun things to, to end up practicing and I think I can, if I can catch it in a certain way, I'm pretty good. And if I catch it in another way, I can kind of, I can get it somewhere to give someone a shot if there's like a good group of people around. So hopefully that ends up happening at some point. Um, but yeah. Oh, in the game we played Saturday, um, I was having to do, do a lot of sort of stuff. And we were, it was a big deal because we were, when you're facing the wind, it was a lot tougher because you have to fight through it. And when you're going the other way, it's a lot easier because the frisbee just sails. Um, so we would score super fast when we we're going against or 
with the wind at our back and then once we had the wind um at our going against the wind it was a lot tougher okay here's the new it's kind of more like a zoomed out picture you kind of see the the um tank top kind of cut there and all that sort of stuff so it's pretty sweet pretty fun i also have a shirt um the same sort of style but i wore my my broke tank it was pretty cold up there pretty windy but you know gotta gotta rep it gotta gotta do that intimidate them with your big biceps and all that um that's still a work in progress i guess um but yeah so i would have to it would they would when we we're going against the wind they would throw it long and i would kind of would try to knock it you know defend it and then i would pick it up super fast run to the end zone and then to our ends up and then i would just chuck it long trying to clear it out of there because you want to the idea was okay we throw it long hopefully everyone like someone finally be able to catch it because i can just be back here all day just knocking it down um and then once that happened once they caught it we'd be able to move up you know get some field position or whatever but they just could not catch it or whatever and then the other team would just kind of throw it long again and move it up because they were pretty they could actually move it pretty well i don't know why these teams i don't know why we're just so much better than them because they seem like they can throw it you know pretty well they have good ideas but they just don't they don't have like a super star player and they don't just have a they don't have the camaraderie we have and they don't have the numbers we have i don't know what we're doing but it's it's working out pretty well um but I feel like all the players on the other teams have been really solid assets to our team. Um, but they just don't, they're kind of all at that level and don't have those next level players. Um, so yeah, so I would pick it up, I'd throw it long. I got a couple of nice just ones that were just laid up there, but people just could not come down with it, which is pretty frustrating. But finally, I kind of readjusted, had one guy, um, you know, just kind of work with me and toss it back and forth and then get moving, get back up. And we ended up getting it. And then the wind died, kind of died down. It was a lot easier but for some reason the other team decided not to throw long at like a second half or whatever which was really stupid i don't know what they were doing because they had the whole i mean they were just kind of do short and it would just get i don't know these strategies the other teams and like deploy are just you know terrible i don't know when i if something's not working right i'm gonna like i'm gonna fix it like that's the way if i you know, I don't you like I don't usually lose when we're you know playing pickup games when I guess even playing playing competitive or whatever. But if I do lose, I'm not going to just sit there and say, all right, you know, let's let not let let's switch up the teams or whatever. I'm gonna you know fix it until it's keep you know trying new stuff out until it's working. But these other these other teams, they just like it's it's insane. They'll try the exact same thing even if it's not working, and I I just couldn't do that. Um, which is good for us because that's an easy easy win for us so that was a, a solid win with the depleted roster um and it was a was a fun game so now um i oh another thing i got this kind of sort of relates to ultimate frisbee kind of um i'll relate it back um so it was my birthday on the third five days ago and i ended up getting my license which was exciting because that means i can you know drive around by myself um and so it's a lot it's pretty nice um just being able to drive um you know like i just drove frisbee we we're playing at our high school um and that was just nice not having to rely on anyone you know set up rides or anything i can just kind of go um which is super super good um and then i drove back we had i had my game at nine and then it was like done at like 10 20 because the other team had a double header and they we were killing them so they kind of forfeited a bit early and um, that's why i kind of did the hammer throw to try to get a final nice final point or whatever um, so then we ended up going to my sister's volleyball match, which was in a different kind of part of Seattle or whatever. Um, and then I was able to drive by myself all the way back, which was fun trying to figure out how to get back there um, to my house. Um, I just put it on Google Maps or whatever and had it kind of tell me what's going on. But it was super rainy, um, hard to kind of see, but I ended up figuring it all out and was able to make it back. So I know it's fun just kind of being able to be more independent and um, exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, so today I drove, picked my sister up from her friend's house and went down to Redbox and got another free video game. So now I'm working through Bioshock Infinite and, um, yeah, it's, it's nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it and, um, I have the Mariners game in like 20 minutes or so. So that should be fun to watch. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.